Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Brandy. I just wanted to come in here today and do a midweek check-in with you guys. Just touch base, let you know what I've been working on, what I've been doing, what I've been getting into, you know, all the things. So, um, anyway, um, I had some ideas and some plans, but you know, the best laid plans can be changed very quickly. Um, some of you know that I've been doing WIPGO with um, my, I have um, WIPGO for fiber arts and then I have WIPGO for cross stitching. And my two cross stitch projects that I'm working on right now for my WIPGO are both on kind of higher count fabric. And it is such that I have to have really good lighting. I need to have my prescription readers because I have astigmatism and I can't just use regular readers. And even my little clip on magnifier, I've been having to use all these things and I've not been getting very much reprieve. Oh, sorry, baby. Um, anyway, um, my eyes last night when I got ready to go to bed, my eyes were so angry, red, itching, burning, watering, super fatigued. And when I woke up this morning, they still felt that way. So hence, no makeup because I don't want to do anything that's going to aggravate or upset my poor little eyeballs any more than it's already happened. And what that also meant was that I decided I wasn't going to work on my cross stitch today. I'm going to give my eyes a break. I wanted to work on something that required no additional light, just natural lighting and my just regular overhead light in my living room. Um, and one thing was I have been watching um, this one little girl's channel. Her name is Haley Quinn. Her yarn uh, podcast is Lock Knits. But I've just been looking at some of the shawls. She wears these beautiful colors that are like cool tones. She has uh, like black hair and she's fair and she looks really pretty with, um, she wears a lot of black, but she wears a lot of colors too, I guess. Um, not more cool tones. I guess that's the point that I'm going with. And I have predominantly just been knitting and crocheting warm tones, warm tones, warm tones. I think it's because I love fall and I've been in this fall mode where a lot of the things that I've been making have been those kind of colors. But anyway, seeing her color choices inspired me to want to do something that wasn't warm. And I also, um, if you've watched my channel at all, you will know that I have a love of shlankets, is what I call them. They're shawls that are so big, they can be used as blankets. And I do, I love them very much. But with summer right around the corner, I mean, it'll be summer here in another week or two. I feel like time is going so ridiculously fast. I cannot keep up, it's February. We're almost to the middle of February. <laughs> it's gonna be summer in a minute. And I need some things for summer, and I cannot wear a shlanket in the summer and not outside running around doing things. So, um, I wanted to get some small, lightweight, summery type shawls. Um, some more lacy uh, knits and crochets, um, stuff done with like fingering weight yarn, that kind of stuff. So, those were my two things. And my third requirement, I guess you would say for the day, was that I needed whatever I chose to be something, like I said, nothing fancy, nothing that I had to really look at, pay attention to, just something I could mindlessly work on. So I've decided on the Linus shawl. It is a very easy, easy pattern. It is a knitting pattern. It is a free pattern. You can find it everywhere. You can find the free pattern on Ravelry. You can Google it. It's on the internet, on different websites. It's all around. 
And if you don't want the written pattern, you don't even have to have that. You can just go on YouTube and type in the line of shawls. And I know that there are several tutorials that you can just follow along with. It is a very simple two row repeat. So once you got it, you got it. Um, it is a, an asymmetrical style, like boomerang shape of a shawl. And I like this particular one because it starts out very thin at one tip and it grows, grows, grows until it's, it's called a one skein shawl because you only need one skein of fingering weight yarn or you could use other weights. Um, but by the time it gets to its full length, the depth isn't too great. So you get a lot of length without having a tremendous amount of way long depth and I don't know, that just lends itself for me as a more summery type of a vibe. So I'm gonna show you this yarn and the lighting is not gonna do this justice, but I just wanted something with cool tones. I wanted something that I felt was summery, but that had pretty colors. And let's see, this is almost like a little confetti cake of yarn. I just think it's so pretty. This colorway is called Unicorn Horn. And as you can see, it's got little dots, little confetti sprinkles of pink and purple and teal and orangey yellow and green. And it's just pretty, 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 pretty. It is just a hank of the Hobby Lobby's Yarn B, authentic hand dyed is what that's called. The fingering weight, 100% superwash merino wool, which makes it great for um, uh, any kind of a scarf or anything. You can wash it. It's low maintenance, right? So that's important. And like I said, it's it is a fingering weight. It has 406 yards, pretty standard for 100 grams. Yeah. Um, anyways, so I will show you it. I don't have very much progress. I just started, but I think it's just going to be a really pretty little, I think it'll be pretty just with a, a t-shirt or a tank top or anything. And like I say, it's just got the little sprinkles going through. Like this, the lighting is okay. I'm not using any artificial setup today. You guys, I am not being a professional person today. Um, once I woke up and, and realized that we were going off schedule, because I had a schedule. I have a way that I do things every day. And today was a planned scheduled day. I'm gonna reach over here and grab my, my tea. Um, today was a scheduled day and once I woke up and I felt the way that I felt with my eyes being very angry, hmm. who's being in love today? Baby Willow is really feeling it. Oh my goodness, she's just purring and I have my awesome cat mug that my mother-in-law got for me. Isn't that the most adorable? And it has my name on it. Hi, are you okay? What's happening? Willow is really happy to be a part of it today. She is just purring away. I don't think you guys can hear that, but anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, the mood. So I had the schedule, then the eye thing happened, and I was like, mm, I'm not doing things the way that I normally do things today. So the schedule went out the window, and with that rebellion that I was having, even though I'm the one that makes the schedule for myself, nobody tells me what to do here. I made it. I'm rebelling against me. It all went away, and then I was like, I'm wearing pajamas. Like, the whole mood changed. I'm not even going to take off my pajamas. So, I've got my cozy, comfy Friday the 13th pajamas on. So, there's that. 
got my peppermint vanilla tea, which just seemed like the right thing to have. Of course, I had coffee this morning, and it's still morning, but we've moved on to tea now because I needed to keep the cozy vibe going. That's what it is. It's a vibe. It's the vibe. You got to have the right aesthetics for the whole vibe situation. So, anyway. We're working on that. Now, I told you guys that last, I've been doing the whip go. I've said that a hundred times. I feel like I just say that over and over. What's happening? Hey, sorry, the kitty cats are fast forwarding things. Anyway, um, so last week, one of my fiber projects was my fire pit mitts. I had one that was completed and I had never even started the second one and that's where we were at. So I had to cast it on and get five hours in on it. I did and Nat completed my mitts. I have two mitts, they're all done. I'm so happy and they match my little beanie hat. And I had said in my last video that if I got these done, which I felt that I would before my five hours was up, that I was gonna go on and pick up my mom's that I had completed her fire pit mitts, except for I had not put her thumbs in. And I was gonna do that. And I did, as you can see, they're complete. They have thumbs now. Where are we at? They have thumbs, We little thumbs. And I just have slipped the yarn band on. I'm going to mail them to her and that way she has the care instructions. Um, this color is the Onyx Heather in the Wool of, wool of the Andes from Knit Picks. 100% Peruvian Highland Wool. Um, so yeah, I got those done and then I drew my whip go numbers, or my husband did, for this week and mom's mitts were on it. And I have already completed them. So I was ahead of the game. I was ahead of the game before it even started. My other Whip Go uh, yarn project this week was for my MJ's off the hook cropped cardigan. And I have put, uh, I think, two hours into that so far. I have switched it because I do that. I have switched it from being a cardigan to being a sweater. Once I got to the point in the pattern where you were supposed to split for your right and left side, I just kept crocheting. I just decided, I thought, no, I want a cropped sweater instead of a cropped cardi. So that's going well. Um, my cross stitch patterns are going well. I'm going to do a update on my cross stitch on Friday. So I think floss tube Fridays, I think that will be in my mind. I think I can remember floss tube Fridays and I think you guys can remember floss tube Fridays. So, and of course the video will say floss tube on it. So there will be no confusion. Um, but I did once the numbers were pulled, this time I, I took pictures of the cross stitch projects before I laid hands on them. So we will be able to see what kind of progress I got in my five hours. So anyway, everything is going good. I'm looking this way to see if there was anything else. Oh, this is something interesting. So I used to use Q-snaps all the time, but then I would get frustrated with if it was a large project, the work that I would have to put into getting my fabric and getting everything set up the way that I wanted to and it just wasn't quite as easy as I would have liked it to have been to when I needed to move the, the frame or the fabric, whatever, to work. Um, and I, so I went to hoops and I like hoops just fine but they're circular and you know, then you have that issue. And I thought it would be nice to try one of these square hoops and Andrea from Andrea's Cautionary Tale 
actually showed a little review of this hoop on her channel, on one of her videos. Um, I use Nurge products. I use their spring hoops. I use their wooden hoops. My stand that holds my hoops is a Nurge, so I'm familiar with their brand. This is a Nurge product, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. I ordered this. It's so big. It's bigger than I thought it was. I'm not a metric person, but it's 250 millimeters by 280 millimeters. So it's a good size, which is good, but it's square, which means patterns just tend to be square, which makes sense. I don't really know why we do circles as for hoops as much, but so, but I, what I like about this is number one, it's a little fat, it's fast and easy. You just unscrew this up here. This centerpiece pops out. You can put your project in. It weighs like nothing. It's so light compared to my Q-Snap. This big old honking thing is just pretty easy and it's very thin. And it's such that when there's a project in it, I don't want, if I don't want to have a stand, I usually two hand stitch. So when I use my stand, I'll two hand stitch. And I can put this in my stand, which is nice if I want to. Or I can just prop it, literally prop it and do my one-handed. Sometimes I like to change it up. Sometimes I don't feel like doing two hands. I don't know if you guys do that, but I swap it around. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna be giving this bad boy a chance. I did receive, so I had extra spaces on my, um, my whip go for my cross stitch because I don't have 25 projects, which was fine. You can duplicate, and I was duplicating several, but I decided, you know, some of them I don't want to duplicate. I don't necessarily need to get extra days on some of them. So there were a few projects that I wanted to start, so I ordered the stuff to do them, and I started them. Um, I haven't drawn them for whip go yet, but I still work on other things when I'm doing whip go, obviously. Um, I just make sure that I meet my goal on my whip go and then I work on all the other things that I want to work on. I did get in everything. I kitted it up through one, two, three stitch, everything I needed for Hawk Run Hollow, a year at Hawk Run Hollow. So I got that started. Oh, it looks so good. I'll show it to you guys on Friday. Of course, I don't have much done. I literally just got it and that is one big boy. That's a big boy. I've got him on the scroll rods because he's too big to just, I can't be dealing with all that fabric. It would be a mess before it was over with, I will tell you what. Um, so anyways, I've got that to play with. And I also ordered, I'm doing mine with the DMC. So let's make note of that. My Hawk Run Hollow is being done with the called for DMC versus the fancy floss because it's such a large piece and there are chances that something may happen between now and however long it takes me to finish it to where I would probably need to wash it and the fancy flosses aren't washable and so I just decided DMC for that. Now, I did buy myself a Valentine's present does everybody else do this kind of stuff? Do you just buy yourself presents for all the things? It's like my husband's like, what do you want? I'm like, oh, I don't know, because I already buy myself everything. Anyway, I bought myself a present. It is, who is it by? I got to look. I got to look because I love it so much. So much. I'm, I cannot wait until I have this. Let's see. And the, okay, so it's by Heartstring Samplery. And it's called the Scary Sampler, right? Um, ooh, I really wish, me, that's too big. This is not gonna do it justice at all. You guys will have to just Google the Scary Sampler. It looks kind of like an old style sampler. 
it said the text says I will oh, I can't read it my eyeballs are so angry and this is not I will be here where I have walked and I will walk here though I'm in my grave so it's kind of like macabre style <laughs> And it shows this little house. I'm trying not to get the glare too bad for you guys. And the little person in their grave. And their dog is also in their grave. But what you're not noticing here. Well, you might be able to notice this one. That little thing right there that looks really interesting. That is the little snake guy from Beetlejuice. And there are like 20 other Easter eggs in here. There's like the roach from um, Men in Black on this tree. The roach guy. There's little Easter eggs to scary movies and sci-fi movies. Oh, also the weeping angel from Doctor Who. When I saw this, guys, I almost lost my mind. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I, I love scary movies. I mean, I've got my Friday the 13th pajamas on. You guys, and I don't just have my Friday the 13th pajamas on. I also have my matching Friday the 13th socks on because, you know, you got to match. Anyway, I love sci-fi I love scary. I love all of that. That is just from my whole life. I was a weird little kid that even as like a five or six year old, I loved scary movies. Um, I've always loved them. I like to get scared. It's been, always been fun for me. So when I saw that, I that was the one. I knew that that was the one. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I ordered it, and because it's not ginormous, I did order all the fancy flosses to go with it because I just think with all that grass and everything, the variegated over dyed threads are really going to make that pop in the most beautiful way. So that should be here probably tomorrow or the next day. I know one, two, three stitch, ships out of Texas, I do believe. I get their stuff. If I ordered it yesterday, I got a notice today that it had shipped. It'll probably be delivered tomorrow. So one thing I love about 123 Stitch, well, one more thing that I love about them. Um, I think that that is it, guys. So let me look at my list. Oh, I will be doing the floss tube on Friday to show that. Uh, la 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 la. I did get a package in from Trilogy. Uh, my monthly color explosion minis. I haven't even opened it yet because I was going to open it with you guys. So I've still got that. I've got to mail out my mom's. I might have to put on uh, maybe I should what is today's date, y'all? It's the 7th. Darn it, man. Mom's birthday is the 11th. I was going to say. I mean, I could technically mail it out. It's probably going to take one day. I was going to say, darn it, am I going to have to put on real clothes and go to the post office today? I think I can mail it out tomorrow. and still have plenty of time. She only lives one state away from me. So, she should get it pretty quick. Anyways. Um, I think that's all my plans, my not plans, my fly by the seat of your pants, loosely ideas of what we want to accomplish in life over the next few days, because that's about as far ahead as we can go. Anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me through my rambling and shenanigans and all the things. I hope that... You're having a great day. I want to say thank you to every single person who has commented on my videos. You guys, my heart gets so excited and my daughter and my husband 
get tickled with me, I know, because I just get so excited every time I see a new person has commented and I read everybody's comments and I try, I'm pretty sure I've done a good job. I try to respond to everybody too. But I've just had so much fun just learning about everybody. Everybody just chimes in and they tell you like who they are, what they do, what their story is, what brought them to the craft, which craft they do, what yarn they like. I've gotten so many amazing tips and tricks. Tri what? Tips and tricks. I've gotten so much of those. Um from veteran knitters, cross stitchers, crocheters, wonderful advice, all kinds of just everything. I love it. I feel like I'm getting to know some of these people. It's so fun and exciting for me as someone who doesn't have anybody to share my love of strings and things with. So thank you guys. It really does mean everything to me when you guys like and subscribe and comment to my videos. It really makes me very happy and I am grateful and blessed and I'm just so excited. I am just really excited guys and I'm just getting all some kind of way here. Anyways, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great day. I will talk to you later. Bye.